All right, I got the barrel torqued on and I got my bolt carrier group cleaned up, put back together. I got that special cam pin that we looked at earlier. You know, it seems pretty smooth. The receiver itself seems like it, uh, even with it lubed up, kind of makes a lot of noise. That's probably just gonna need to wear in a little bit as I shoot it. It's no big deal, it is pretty smooth. Um, but mainly the next thing I'm gonna be doing is putting on the gas block, gas tube, gas block. Um, I did wanna kinda point out this gas block. It's pretty cool. Um, this is from Woj Tech Weaponry. Maybe I said that right. Um, anyway, this is their clamp-on style. They have I know they have like set screw styles as well, and they come in the different, um, you know, barrel diameters. I believe this one is the 750, and this one is click adjustable. I believe they have other ones that are like infinitely adjustable, so there's no clicks in between. Um, it's the focus. There's a set screw on top where you can clamp it down where you want it. The other kind of cool thing is it has this. Um, alignment hole so before you put the gas tube on because uh, once you put the tube in there you, you're not going to be able to see through this hole but before you do that just to kind of check alignment you can put it on your barrel and you can look down through this hole to see if it lines up with the gas port on the barrel and because there might be some question as to where exactly this thing ought to go um, you know, is it all the way up tight against the gas journal here? Or is it, you know, like a people say like a credit card's width off? Well, in this case, I've already looked at it. It is actually just off the, the journal here, off this flat right here, where it lines up perfectly. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, I'll probably just remember where that is. When I go to actually putting it on there, you could I could probably mark the barrel, make sure I get it in exactly the right spot from here. But anyway, it's kind of a cool feature. And you know, these things are, I mean, I don't know when I ordered it anyway, it's $65. Um, you know, compared to a lot of other adjustable gas blocks, especially ones that have like click adjustability. I mean, it's, you know almost half price and I think the ones that are like infinitely adjustable are even a couple bucks cheaper so um, pretty cool I haven't used this before I know the on online people definitely like them I've, I've not come across anyone that has anything bad to say so I think that's gonna work out pretty nicely definitely want to run a, a an adjustable on this rig so I'm gonna be shooting it suppressed which is another piece I got to put on. This is the OSS, or sorry, the Huxworks uh, muzzle brake. And um, for their 762 uh, suppressor. And I'm gonna be using that on this, on this rig. So I'll have to torque that thing down. And this doesn't, apparently doesn't really need to be timed, which I can kind of see that. It's not really, it's kind of symmetrical all the way around um, but yet at the same time they give you washers just in case you wanted to, to time it in a certain place so that's about it for now I think I'm gonna just put put all these pieces together I guess um, also gonna put the handguard on um, this handguard came with this barrel nut that we put on and um, you know I got kind of a kind of a mutt going right now the black Receiver, basically flat dark earth handguard, and this grayish barrel. But I'm going to uh, get everything together and shoot it a bit before I decide on a paint job for it. Once upon a time, I had another barrel for a different rifle that I, before I shot it, I painted up all nice and pretty with the rest of the rifle and it would not shoot and there was problems inside and I had to actually send it back to um, to the company so kind of wasted time on painting that thing so 
Anyway, that's the reason why I'm going to get everything together first, make sure it shoots well, and then I'll uh, I'll pan it up nice. So that's it for now. Put it together, and it'll it'll be ready to start shooting here. We'll start with factory loads first. Um, we have the 75 grain. Come on, 75 grain ELD. We shoot some of those. I, I have uh, six, the 62 um, ELD VT. Those are coming. I um, haven't got them in the in the mail just yet. But I'm going to shoot factory ammo first. See if it likes that bullet. Um, or which bullet it likes more. Because I do actually have both of those bullets sitting on the shelf. Um, somewhere in there. So, um, just going to make sure it shoot it likes the bullet first, and then I'll kind of focus on which one I want to shoot. I, I do, I would like to shoot the 62s out of this thing, but, you know, I, I know already from shooting my 22, the, the 75 grains out of my 22 Creedmoor, that those things shoot well, and they kill coyotes really well. So, if the 75s end up doing better, I'll probably go with them.